A recent poll found that 37% of Americans have a positive view of the FBI. And that's from an NBC poll. I wouldn't exactly call that uh, right media propaganda. And I think I know why. Here's what the American people know and believe about the FBI today, sir. If you are a Trump, you'll be prosecuted. If you are a Biden, you'll be protected. And the American people that I represent are sick and tired of this double standard. It seems like every single hearing that we have in this room, we talk about the two-tiered justice system of Biden's DOJ and the FBI. And as we were talking earlier, here we are again. President Trump endured an unprecedented raid at his home in Mar-a-Lago. President Biden's home, however, was respectfully browsed. President Trump is facing up to 400 years in federal prison for allegedly being in possession of classified documents he obtained as the commander-in-chief of these United States of America. And meanwhile, President Biden is facing no charges for the classified documents he had held at his time as a senator and a vice president, not the president of these United States of America. And last I checked, he had no legal authority to declassify those documents. Assuming President Trump was in possession of said classified documents, would those documents be more secure, surrounded by Secret Service at Mar-a-Lago, or in a box, in a garage, behind your Corvette? You know the answer to that question. Question for you, sir. What can you tell us about the status of the FBI's investigation of President Biden's classified documents found next to his Corvette in Delaware and those found at the Penn Biden Center? Do we have an update on that, sir? What I can tell you is that there is an ongoing special counsel investigation led by Mr. Robert Herr, uh, and we have FBI agents uh, affiliated with it, working on it, working very actively and aggressively with him on that case. Um, I obviously disagree with your description of the two standards. In my view, we, at least under my watch, we have one standard, uh, and that is we're going to pursue the facts wherever they lead, no matter who likes it. And I add that last part because especially in sensitive investigations, Mm -hmm. Almost by definition, somebody's not going to like it. So I understand, and that's actually why I led with the sentiment of the American people. I understand that that, that's your sentiment. I I do want to finish this. So so I want everybody to talk about this dichotomy that we have seen. I, I, I get your point, sir, but that's just not what we see as the public, as we the people. We see one case being fast tracked and one case being slow walked. We see one president's home being raided, the other president's home being kindly searched. You have one government agency the Secret Service, protecting the former president and his home, and another government agency, the FBI, raiding the same home. Now, to me, sir, that's tragically ironic. And we expect more from a functional constitutional republic, and these things shouldn't be happening. Now, it's my opinion that Joe Biden is the most unpopular president we have seen in a century, and that's why he knows the only way to stop President Trump from beating him in November is by putting him in jail. You talked about this, Mr. Fry. In the 247 years of this existence of this great nation, only one president has ever been indicted by the DOJ and has home raided by the FBI. Now, some have said that President Trump's indictment means that no one is above the law. Okay, all right, I would love to see that. But what about Hillary Clinton? And what about Joe Biden? And what about Hunter Biden, who is America's favorite son? Let me tell you something. I got a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter at my house. Hunter Biden, to me, is like glitter. He is on everything, and you cannot get rid of him. And yet nothing is going to be done about this. We're sick of it. James Comey decided not to prosecute Hillary Clinton despite overwhelming evidence that she committed crimes. And as I recall, it was the position of the FBI to not prosecute because they didn't want to interfere with the presidential election. What do you call this? The Iowa caucuses are in six months. Six months. I think the American public would expect to see this from Cuba and from Venezuela and from Russia and from China, but not here. The people expect us to have blind justice. They expect equal justice under the law. 
It is not the job of the DOJ or the FBI to prosecute Joe Biden's top political opponent who was leading in every single primary poll, and the Iowa caucuses are in six months. Let the people decide. It's our job to uphold the Constitution. As a West Point grad and military veteran, this is the Constitution I give my life to protect, and I expect us all to uphold it likewise. Thank you so much for being here.